Welcome to the Spring Break edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 15 with baseball against Keystone, and at shortstop it's freshman Victor Diaz with the barehanded play and throw to first for the out. At number 14, Griffin Menudo set a career high with 17 faceoff wins against both Colorado College and Cortland, and in each game one of those faceoffs led to a goal against Colorado College. Scoring the goal was Wyatt Malia, the Centennial Conference Player of the Week, and against Cortland, scoring the goal off the faceoff was Tyler Kitchen. At number 13, women's lacrosse in Hilton Head against Wheaton, and it's Ava Malia with the spin move and scoring one of her three goals in the game from this tough angle. At number 12, baseball playing long ball, three run homers and wins against Gwynedd Mercy. It was sophomore Mason Melling, and against Springfield, it's freshman Mark Quarry with his second home run of the season. At number 11, softball against Gwynedd Mercy, runner on second, one out. In center field, senior Jillian Zach goes to her right to make the catch and throws a perfect throw to third base for the inning and then double play. At number 10, senior Steven Krug made a total of 23 saves in the two big men's lacrosse wins against Colorado College and Portland, including these saves, which all came late in the game with the score tied or the Mules trailing by one. At number 9, women's lacrosse against Kane and Hilton Head, and at sophomore Abba Diglio picking up the ground ball and somebody stop her. Or nobody stop her. She goes straight to goal and scores her first goal of the season. At number 8, junior Matthew Hokager with some big hits to cause turnovers. First this one against Colorado College, and then this one against Union, which leads to a goal scored by freshman Liam Ledwith. At number 7, baseball catcher Dylan O'Donnell achieved an incredible feat against Springfield when he threw out not one, not two, but three runners trying to steal in three consecutive innings. At number 6, women's lacrosse tied a 37-year-old school record by scoring 24 goals in a 24-12 win against Kane and Hilton Head. Seen here are goals by Lauren Shervin, Riley Hulak, and Emma Youngling. At number 5, Justine Bergara was named Centennial Conference Pitcher of the Week after going 5-0 with a 0.27 ERA on the softball team's spring break trip. Softball with a 10-game winning streak on the trip, and six of those wins came by shutout. At number 4 in the opening meet of the outdoor track and field season, Noel House threw the javelin 194 at the Allen Connie Shamrock Invitational. He placed 5th with the 9th best throw in Division 3 this season. At number 3, men's lacrosse tied with Cortland, 10-10, 6.09 remaining in the 4th quarter, and it's Andrew Salito going in on goal to score what proved to be the game-winning goal, the Mules win 12-10. At number 2, senior Sophia Cicchetti was named Centennial Conference Softball Offensive Player of the Week after hitting over 500 on the Mules spring break trip. Among her hits, this inside the park grand slam against Maine Presque Isle. And if an inside the park home run is a rare event, how about two in the same inning? Kaya May, he had an inside the park three run homer in that very same inning against Maine Presque Isle. And the Mules hit a third inside the park home run on the trip, Scooter Hulson against Franciscan, with this two run inside the park home run, her first career home run. And our number one play of the week, Mules tied with Colorado College 13-13 early in overtime, and it's freshman Chase Cusco circling from behind the goal and scoring to give the Mules a 14-13 overtime win. The Mules went out to Colorado and defeated two teams that were earning votes in the USL ILA national poll, Colorado College and Cortland, and Cusco's golden goal is our number one play of the week. In overtime by one. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more great plays next week. Go Mules!